today I'm going to talk about The Red Badge of Courage by Stephen Crane. A lot of you might be reading this for school right now. I don't know. Um, I read war novels for fun because I like them. Um, all Quiet on the Western Front is one of my favorite ones of all time. And I just finished reading this one. I've never read it before, actually. Um, it's an American Civil War novel. Um, Stephen Crane, who wrote this book, is actually has an extremely interesting biography in and of itself. He died when he was 28, I think. Um, and so he lived a very short life, and he wrote this. It was his very first novel when he was 21. And he had never actually been in a war before, um, so the fact that he could capture the Civil War atmosphere so well is what makes this book such an interesting read. It's kind of an anti-war novel. Um, it makes a very good statement against war, but um, at the end it also gives it a conflicting message of, okay, now we're courageous at the end, but we weren't before. Basically, a red badge of courage is a wound, um, you know, you're able to go to war, and if you get wounded, it's a red badge of courage. You're courageous, that's what it shows. And our main character is a very young guy named Henry, um, but Stephen Cray refers to him quite often as the youth, um, which I kind of like. Um, just kind of reinforces all the time how young he is. He's not a man of war, he's a boy of war. Henry really uh, makes you think, what would you do in a war situation? Are you brave? Um, he goes over the concept of running in a war and, and cowardice through the first third of the book. The first third of it was so boring, I didn't think I was going to be able to get through of it. It's actually only 170 pages long. Um, the first 50 pages were very, very hard to get through. The language of the time and the long-winded um, explanations of things. There wasn't very much dialogue in the first 50 pages and nothing much was going on. Um, after the first battle happens, you know, around the 50th page, things really pick up and I couldn't put it down after that and I really enjoyed it. I encourage you to uh, read this for fun if you're into war novels. If you're not, you probably would not like it at all. Um, if you have to read it for class, it's a great read. Um, you know, of all the books that you would have to read for class, just be thankful you're not reading Beowulf. Um, ugh. Um, or Canterbury Tales, <laughs> but that's just my opinion. So that's my review of The Red Badge of Courage. Four out of five. How do you like that? So, have a good day. See you soon.